as he breaks off in frame one. Just to say on uh, table one, Martin Gould has won the first frame against Ricky Walden. Well, Trump was always going to take that on, but it was a tricky little cut to the middle. No real damage done, though. There could be some damage done here. What a pot that is. I mean, he's playing it with safety in mind, yes. But even so, fantastic pot. He's on the yellow. Worth seeing again this. Brilliant. Just brilliant. in here already in frame one Trump always looking to get them open as quickly as he can try and score heavily He's actually gone pretty badly wrong. He's tied up pink and black and he's not on an easy red. Could take this one to the middle, it's very risky though. And I'm sure that UK Championship defeat to Dot is fresh in his mind. It was only in fact last month. So he knows how dangerous an opponent Dot is. So just to safety. Just from 17. Well, that's uh, brought pink and black out again, although the black's gone on the cushion. And although there's distance between them, Trump will be taking this red on. Sort of poorly off and knocks in. And he's not that one in. You can't afford to leave him anything at all. The mood is in. Again, this wasn't easy.
just grazed the green, but it's okay. Six. Thank you. Well thought about the pink, but it's awkward queuing. The black's awkward as well. But the black's in. Twenty-eight. Great chance to take this opening frame now. He's fifty-three in front already. Thirty-six. Got in with a thumping long red. Sort of Trump trademark shot and that's the thing you know you can play what looks like a good safety against him but he just finds these pots super confident player three times a winner of this tournament so clearly it's a tournament he enjoys 44 45 Dot already needs one snooker. This red will make absolutely sure. 53. And in the blink of an eye, Judd Trump is 1 0 up. A swift 58 from Judd Trump, and he leads Graham Dot 1-0. And Trump just uh, in that kind of mood tonight to really go for his shots and score heavily. He did so against Ben Wollaston, and he's already killed off the first frame there against Graham Dot. Now then, uh, Ricky Walden and Martin Gould is the match on table one, and Gould, he's having a great night as well. He beat Michael White 3-1 on that table earlier. He's 1-0 up and in the balls here. Trailing in frame two, but with a chance to possibly make it 2-0. Gould's another former winner of the Championship League. And uh, he's another player, actually, like Dot and Trump, who's played 3-1-2. All jostling for position in this uh, league table. looking pretty bleak already though for Ben Wollaston and Michael White they both played three lost three so those two at the moment in the relegation positions Lee Hang of course has played 
So 1 0 to Martin Gould on table one. Here on table two, Judd Trump leads Graham dot 1 0. He had a break of 58 in the first frame. Here we go again, first shot, knocks in a long red. It's nicely on the green. A couple of reds already out in the open. Green or yellow, either way, this is a great pot. Not in the mood to miss it would seem this evening. Just growing in confidence. So running out of loose reds. And it's going to be a few shots time when he goes into them. That's going to, I guess, decide whether he wins this frame in one visit or not. That's what he's looking to do, obviously. Well, he'd like to be a bit higher on this blue if he's going to be going directly into them. Could still uh, play into them off a couple of cushions. That's what he's doing. As long as he's on one, it's all right, because then he can attack the pack again. He's on the one to 32. the right middle. Cubal kept on running though. Still going to take the green on. Oh, this looks good. Oh, this looks great. What a shot. That could be a frame winner. Played it with controlled pace. He didn't just whack it. He really played it nicely. It's brought four reds into play there. The lead 36. Just seeing if that black passes the red. Just sort of surveying the scene, having got them open. Black obviously goes. Meanwhile, Martin Gould 2 0 up on Ricky Walden on table one. Well, he's had a good look at this, Trump. Oh. 
40 fois. 45. He has no need to go near the cluster of four. He can win the frame with the three open reds. It's already up to 52. Remember, all Graham Dot studies break off. Judd Trump immediately potted a long red, and he's still going. Does not need to go into the cluster. Blue puts him 66 in front with 67 on, so this last loose red will be enough. What a delightful break it's been. The green was a key shot. 66. It'll cut back green into the pack to, f to split enough reds that he needed to kill it off, and Judd Trump is going to be 2 0 in front. And now he can play into them. Now the frame's over and try and make his third century of the night. This is seriously impressive snooker from Trump. 73. He had a 125 and a 109 against Ben Wollaston earlier. And he wants another century as well. He's come slightly awkward here. Can still pop this though. Well, just great snooker. Dot broke off. Trump looks like he's going to make a century from his first chance. Long red and clears the table. Can't ask for much better than that, really. So, third century of the night for Judd Trump. Puts him in a very commanding position here. He leads 2-0 and will need just one more frame to collect his third point of the day. 106. Terrific, terrific total clearance of 124 by Judd Trump. He leads Graham Dot 2 0, and hasn't he taken that lead in fine style? Dot's really barely got a look in so far this evening. The only good news for him is that when Trump's making breaks like that. It's quick. That's all you can say really for the opponent.
So it's 2 0 to Trump. He needs one more for victory. This is frame three. Can Graham Dot find a way back into it, or is Trump going to complete the whitewash? We will find out right now. Third frame. Just Trump's back. Well, something tells me that's not going to improve Graham Dot's mood very much. And he'll be less happy if uh, Trump here knocks in a long red and he's off and running again. And there's a real danger that could happen. What? In goes the red. One did a little kiss or something on the blue. It's not finished great, although he's still on the green. He potted a green not dissimilar to this in the last frame. Well, he's super confident, so he's going to take this on. And he's going to pot it. <laughs> what a display of snooker this is. Four. Relentless. Judd Trump on the rampage here. Well, it's awkward queuing for the black. Red slightly in the way. Just having to raise his bridge hand. Doesn't make any difference, though. This is a chance to win the match. 12. Just from 20. Hold the back page, he's missed one. And better still for Graham Dot, he's given the Scot a chance here to get involved himself. started the day with a 3-1 victory over Martin Gould, then he beat Michael White 3-2, then he lost 3-2 to Lee Hang in a high quality match in which he had a 1-3-6 total clearance. So he was, was playing well. Oh dear, he thought that was in, he was walking after it, he yeah, thought it was in, but it wasn't, and uh, worse still, the red is there for the taking for Trump, who's missed one himself in this frame, but didn't prove too costly. Well. 
But once again, it's going to come down to getting the red spread. A couple of shots time. Well, it looks nice. Still got to pop this black, but uh, this is a good chance to win the match now for Trump. Yeah, this is the problem always. When the cue ball's got to travel, things can go wrong. And he's just found himself sort of in the middle of nowhere here. Well, he recovered well initially when he'd lost ideal position. Just needs to keep going now. He's 47 in front. So one more red needed after this green. 51 in front with 51 on. It's been a great performance this by Judd Trump all round. It's been really, really impressive. The highlight was the 1-2-4 break in the second frame, but overall he's been completely dominant. In this frame, Graham Dot missed a pink to the right middle, but he was a bit kind of shell-shocked by the time he came to to play it. He'd been completely battered, really, by Trump by then and had hardly any table time. Dot's still in good shape. Two wins out of four, but Trump three wins out of four can reflect on a good day's work here. Began it not too promisingly, losing 3-0 to Lee Hang, but he's since beaten Ricky Walden 3-0, Ben Wollaston 3-1. And helped by this break of 55, he's beaten Graham Dot 3 0. So Judd Trump, very impressive the way he took out all three frames there. And uh, it'd be a big surprise, I think, if we didn't see him in the playoffs tomorrow evening. Graham Dot, as I say, still well positioned himself. It's going to be a fascinating final day of Group 6. Lee Hang, of course, three wins out of three, going really well. And Martin Gould also looking good at the moment. But uh, Judd Trump finishing the day on a high, he's beaten Graham Dot 3 0. That's it for now. We'll be back at 11 o'clock UK time. The first match here on table two in the morning is Michael White against Ben Wollaston. Those two at the moment in the relegation places.